What's up guys? Danny with Lanier Lawn Care out of beautiful Harrisonville, Missouri. Go check my channel out. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. But right now, you're watching Top Notch Lawn Care. What's going on everybody? Yeah, I got the camera back in front of me. I got a lot of people asking, where's Top Notch at? Are you quit making videos? Are you are you done with YouTube? And honestly, guys, it's just been uh, been real busy. Been really, really busy, and you know, I'm really, really focused on my business, trying to get it going, and uh, picking up new clients constantly. And uh, that's a good feeling. And that there, that's Kalen. Pretty good guy. We'll get more into Kalen here in a minute. He's got a pretty good story. Uh, he's probably uh, one of the reasons why I'm recording right now because uh, I want to share his story today. I want to kind of share uh, share what he's got going on. And he's a 19-year-old kid. And he's got big hopes, big dreams, and uh, he's got the right attitude to pull it off. Oh, is it recording right now? Yeah. So right now we are headed to a property that is really, really overgrown. We got the front yard mowed, or the boys got the front yard mowed the other day. Couldn't get into the backyard, so me and Kaylin are gonna go finish the job. Tear it up. Yeah. We're gonna go tear it up. But officially, this is Kaylin. Hey. Nice guy. It's kinda. We'll, see. well uh, my dream is to become an actor. I wanna be in a TV show that lasts a really long time. There's, there's nothing that's going to get in the way of me doing that. Uh, so right now, um, uh, I like to call it the road to L.A. Because that's where all the TV and movie stuff's happening. That's where actors go to make their dreams a reality. And that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, in the meantime, doing some hard work with Brian for Top Notch Lawn Care. And, um, it, it's, been, it's been a fun ride so far. But, um, uh, a, a bit more of the season left. A few more lawns to mow. But uh, all for the sake of me going to LA, and uh, it'll be it'll be awesome. Yeah, ever since I hired him, uh, you know, he just kind of works part time, just whenever his schedule allows him to. And I need I need some extra help, and you know, we kind of just work together. And he comes and works a day or two a week with me. And uh, but anyway, when I first uh, when he first came and worked for me. You know, we, we was driving around, he was telling me the story, and I was asking him questions, and I just thought it was a pretty cool story, you know, 19-year-old kid just going to be like, you know what, screw it, I'm going to try to make a little bit of money, I'm hopping in my car, I'm driving to L.A. Woo! Let's go. Let's do it, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, I don't know, kind of wish I'd have had that kind of attitude when I was 19. Well, there are fewer things in your way than you might think when it comes to you pursuing your goals. So that's what I want to do. Get out there and go. And you know, if you ever get into a, a TV show or a movie or even a commercial that has to deal with walker mowers, you are set. Oh yeah. You're like, uh, yeah, uh, I, I can drive that, yeah. I'm good. Hey, I'll, I'll be like in the back of the line, there'll be like maybe 30 other people in front of me like uh, auditioning for this commercial. And I'll be like, uh, <laughs> Plop, there's my resume. <laughs> yep, just look it up. Top notch lawn care, walker mowers, baby. <laughs> In the bag. Yeah, I remember the first day I had you drive around my front yard yeah. for, you know, for what, five or 10 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. I just kind of put them on the 52 and I said, just drive around for a little while.
well, we went over it three times, lowering the deck a little bit each time. We got down to three and a quarter. Right now, he's back up to three and a half. We're just kind of trying to spread the clumps out a little bit to make it look as good as we can. It doesn't look all that great, but it's a lot better than it was. So what's your what's your thoughts on that experience? Oh, <laughs> uh, let's try to not uh, make that a dramatic one. You do know that if uh, you get decapitated, you're not gonna be on a TV show. Um, unless it was uh, The Walking Dead. There you go. Yeah, I could I could be on The Walking Dead. <laughs> I think it turned out all right. Yeah. Not too bad. Yeah. From what we had to work with. For sure. For sure. Hopefully you you'll be able to see kind of the the depth of what we had to work with. You know what I mean? Like the, the thickness of it, the, the, the length of it. I don't know if it's just me being a newbie or uh, this walker. Like going in there, I didn't know that this walker was gonna be able to do that. But uh, we got it done, it looks pretty good. All right, so me and Kaylin, we're done for the day. Uh, we got back to the house, unloading all the stuff. I go inside, take a shower, I get ready for work. And then my phone rings. Uh, crisis central going on at top notch right now apparently somebody drove a mower off a retaining wall and now into the pond you know luckily nobody's hurt or anything like that but they can't get the mower out of the pond they used the uh, strap that we had and tied it up to the 48 walker didn't work uh, it's instead of sliding around so i'm taking the 52 up there and uh, see if we can't use that 38 horsepower to pull it out. And I think the biggest thing, the biggest problem they're having is uh, it's kind of wet down there by the bank, so uh, you can't get a lot of a lot of good traction. So cross your fingers, because if this doesn't work, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I'm not sure how we're going to get this thing out of there. It's behind a building that there's just no access to get a, a truck or anything back there. Uh, so so yeah, stay tuned. All right, so we finally got the mower out of the lake, out of the pond, and it was a cluster. Let me tell you, the 48 Vantage was pretty sunken down into the pond. Tried to get it out with the 48 Walker, kind of ended up getting it stuck. Drove the 1500 truck down there, tried to pull them out. It kind of got a little stuck. Uh, ended up having to go get a come along, tie it wrapped around a tree, and uh, ended up pulling it out. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to try to kind of go through the 48 Vantage. I know the handle's all jacked up on it because it actually flipped over a retaining wall, landed on the handles, and then flipped back over and went into the lake. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> not, not good at all. So I'm actually worried about water in the engine and, you know, just kind of have to check it out and see, you know, what's all broke on it and... You know, hopefully the wheel motors are sealed real tight because uh, they were submerged in water for at least a couple hours, and uh, yeah, it's just not a good, not a good day for that. But you know, hey, things happen. Uh, I told the guys, I said, hey, you know, obviously I'm frustrated, but you know, what are you gonna do? I mean, get over there, yell and scream, and make things ten times worse? No. So. You know, maybe it's my fault for, uh, you know, giving him that equipment to do that job. You know, I take some of the blame. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna rethink that one, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll get back at it. You know, I mean, it's all good. It's all a learning experience for everybody, and uh, just I'm just glad we got it out. And I I think uh, I think we'll be okay. I don't think the engine's messed up or anything. I'm gonna drain it tomorrow. Uh, you know, see if we got any water in there and and all that so uh, so yeah you know kind of one of those days that it actually started off being a good day we got a lot done today and then by the end of the day not so much fun but you deal with it you move on tomorrow's another day we still got a lot of mowing to do so can't sit and sulk